Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today, we're taking a quick little look into the third teaser trailer for the stupidly exciting One Piece Stampede, which releases in Japan in early August. So the last teaser trailer really dropped some bombs on us, and this one very much reinforced all of that. I'm not going to go through this one shot by shot because in essence, this trailer is primarily just close up shots of characters set to appear in the film, which is incredibly exciting to see, but it doesn't tell us a whole lot. And yeah, I guess that's kind of the point of a teaser trailer really. But at the moment, the characters I am by far most excited to see are the worst generation because they all seem to have really nice movie specific outfits designed for them just as the straw hats get every time. And there are some pretty surprising color schemes happening as well, in particular with Drake and Apu, who both seem to be heavily favoring a green aesthetic, which I think they both absolutely rock. But just on the topic of the worst generation, I'm not going to be getting into manga spoilers here, but I think this trailer makes it fairly clear that we should be ignoring all current events in regards to the worst generation for the purpose of this film. It's not going to take place in any sort of canon whatsoever, it's just our standard alternate movie universe, so I expect them to just casually show up at the Pirate Expo with no explanation of like, wait a minute, shouldn't shouldn't you be elsewhere? But that leads us into a big breakthrough of the trailer actually. So if you watched my previous Stampede video covering the announcement of the massive cast list, you'll be familiar with why I was quite skeptical of all of these characters actually being in the film, and it has to do with Anne. Anne is a Devil Fruit user from the Tokyo Tower live show who essentially has the power to create illusions of people. So as a result, my biggest fear going into Stampede was that the Pirate Expo would be a giant sham and that the Straw Hats would end up being the only real characters there, with everyone else being an illusion crafted by Anne's Devil Fruit. However, this trailer pretty much completely and very thankfully blows that idea away. And it's all because of this one shot of Blackbeard. So he was previously confirmed to be in the film, which is a pretty big deal and all considering he's a Yonko. However, in the trailer, he appears with his pre time skip character design. That is very suspicious on its own, but his eyes also appear to be a different color. So I feel like it's quite obvious that this particular shot of Blackbeard is an illusion and why this shot gives me hope for everybody else in the film is because they appear in all of their post time skip glory with their eyes looking perfectly normal. Of course, this isn't to say that post time skip Blackbeard will not be in the film. I just think that this particular shot is definitely an illusion. And this newfound confidence extends to the Marines as well, because for the most part, they all look like they're becoming very clearly involved involved in something, like the shot of Kizaru on the ship with the ominous overcast. It's not like he's just sitting in an office for a cameo or something, he is getting involved. And it looks like Hina is well and truly doing the same on whatever island the expo is taking place on. But the one person who gives me pause for thought is Garp, just because the shot we have of him is so extremely close up. So he could be doing the classic Marine in office movie cameo thing. But Garp is a tricky one though. You would think that in a film so heavily focused on the Roger Pirates that Garp would warrant a pretty decent role, but uh, eh, who knows. Moving back to the announcers though, to the side of Anne, and we have Donald Moderate, her co-commentator, I guess. And I'm not particularly sold on his design or general existence, but right in front of him is a rather interesting picture of Dragon number 13 from Punk Hazard. The fact that it is called number 13 is something that was very recently revealed in the One Piece Vivia card data book. But the idea that it's even being referenced in this film is interesting because the whole dragons in One Piece thing very much alludes to Vegapunk rather than Roger. Although I guess it's possible that the dragon could be used out of context. Like for example, maybe in the movie canon, somehow after Punk Hazard, the festival organizer managed to capture it and make it an obstacle in this grand treasure hunt or something along those lines. And speaking of the organizer, there is absolutely nothing new in regards to him. However, when we move to Douglas Bullet, we are treated to a very intriguing shot of him bathing in a big old wad of purple. And so it seems like the end game of this film will probably have Bullet piloting the giant mech thing, the hand of which we see very briefly in this teaser. And actually the whole mechanical aspect was alluded to in the very first teaser poster for the film. I am slightly disappointed by the idea of a giant mech thing though, because I was hoping that Luffy would be facing off against Bullet it more fist to fist style. As it is right now, it looks like the climax of Stampede may be very similar to film Gold, where Tesoro, for all intents and purposes, crafted a giant mech out of gold. And yes, he put on a fantastic fight against Luffy, but that doesn't mean I want to see it again, especially from an alleged member of the Roger Pirates. And with that, the last thing I'll comment on is the shot of the man himself. Yes, Roger was revealed to be in the film ages ago, but seeing him on screen really kind of hit that hard for me. I mean, yes, it won't actually be him. It'll be an illusion or a flashback or whatever, but I can't not be excited every time something to do with the Pirate King pops up in the series, even in a non-canon film. And that's really why Stampede continues to have me hyped. The huge cast of characters is great and I hope that they somehow all get used well and aren't just wasted on a billion cameo shots. But for me, the true meat of this film lies more in the potential of a story involving the Roger.
bunch of pirates. So yes, well played teaser trailer three. I will eagerly be awaiting the full trailer and of course the film itself. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of your amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on Teaser Trailer 3 for One Piece Stampede. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.